Hey, welcome to Livestore. My name is Johannes Schickling and I'm the creator of Livestore, which I've been working on for over the last four years. Livestore is a next generation state management framework based on Reactive SQLite and comes with a built in sync engine based on event sourcing. I've built Livestore for myself while working on ambitious projects like Overtone, which needed a principled data layer. Let's take a look at how Livestore actually works. Livestore can be used on a single client, but also supports multiple clients and can be used on the server side as well. Let's understand how a live store works on a single client. Unlike traditional state management libraries like Redux or MobX, LiveStore uses an embedded SQLite database, which can be reactively queried, which drives the UI state of your applications. Data changes are modeled as events and are then committed to the store, where events are directly materialized to the database, keeping it always up to date. If you have syncing enabled, events are directly also synchronized across other clients, keeping all clients up to date. Let's explore how a real Livestore app looks like. In this case, we're looking at a React app. Here, we're starting with the Livestore provider. The Livestore provider takes an adapter, in this case, the web adapter, which persists to OPFS, but there's also other adapters available for Expo, Node, and other platforms. And it also takes a schema. The schema takes two parts, the events and the state. The events define everything that the app can change over time. And the state is how we want to express that data in our database. Here we have a to-dos table and a table for some UI stage, such as the current new to-do text and how we want to filter the to-dos. Then those events are materialized into the database, keeping the database always up to date. Let's take a look at how the app looks like in action. So over here, we're starting out with an empty database where we can create task A. So over here, we are starting out with an empty database where we can create a few tasks and those tasks can be completed and also be filtered depending on how they're completed. Let's try to understand how the code for that looks like. Let's start with this field. Over here, we have the header, which has a input field, which always reflects the current new to do text which is queried from the UI state. As we're making changes, we're committing new events about the UI state, keeping the database always fresh. And once we're hitting enter, we want to create a new to-do by committing the to-do created event and resetting the UI state. To better understand what is going on in the app, Livestore also comes with Livestore DevTools built in. So over here, we see an always up-to-date view of the database. And we also see a history of all the committed events. Those events are also being synchronized across all other clients. To see the syncing in action, let's take a look at a mobile version of the to-do MVC app using Expo. Over here, I have the Expo dev server running. We should see that the app is showing us the same state. It is fully synchronized, which we can see reflected over here. I hope this demonstration of Livestore gives you a good idea how it works and what it can be used for. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the community. Happy building.